What's up? This is the Chrome Tinsel Sling Bag. This is the new and improved Tinsel Sling Bag. I have not seen any reviews on YouTube with this one in particular yet. Um, the ones that you're probably seeing that I've seen have pockets on the sides with stretchy strings. No good. I've seen the reviews and I agree. You can't have water bottle, you know, pockets that are like this big. When your water bottle is this big, that thing's just going to flop right out. So I feel like Chrome listened and they decided, you know what? You can fit a water bottle in this. We don't need the pockets. So they gave you compression straps on the side, which is cool. And they got rid of the goofy looking pockets. It was all puffed out on the side. It didn't look good, especially when you're wearing a sling bag. You couldn't fit a can of soda in there, throw it on your back and have it not fall out. This bag is made from a recycled material that just feels amazing. And it's really water resistant. I have yet to find a bag that is waterproof that doesn't look like a block of rubber. I saw this and I had to buy it. I watched so many reviews on the old one and was kind of bummed out because it was like, man, I don't like the puffy pockets. Then they came out with this one and I was like, yeah, buddy. I am more of a black bag kind of stealth mode kind of dude but this right here especially with the little the little x's i love that and then they have this extra webbing on here to kind of just keep it from just being floppy you know it stands up like this and even when there's nothing in it it stands up like this you, know, you don't want a bag that that's sagging like super low when you're wearing it or it's it's flopping around while you're moving this is a nice stiff but yet, see how it's flexible? Yet it's stiff. So what do we got on this bag? We got a beautiful mustard color, whatever they call it. You got the typical chrome logo rubber guy right there, which is cool. There's no places to put anything. These are just sewn on. Each zipper has a nice rubber coating for the uh, weather resistantness of it. It's got one, two, three pockets. Now, the front pocket is pretty much somewhere you'd put your flatter things. I like to say flatter things because you don't want it to be all puffed out. You know, you don't want it to be sticking out like this. So I keep my, my wallet in here. I'll put like a bandana in here. Maybe my flat uh, charger from my phone goes in here. Papers, whatever, pen, yada, yada. The middle pocket here, this is where you can keep a lot of your big stuff. I got a bandana in there. I have my uh, chrome tech accessories pouch. I keep my battery pack in here with some cords. It's good. Good to have with you. Like it. Also, great material. You know, it's got plenty of places to clip things on. You can strap it to your backpack strap if you want to. I got a bag that turns into a bigger bag. It's a packable bag. Just in case I go somewhere, I get something, you know, groceries, thrifting, find something cool, carry it around, whatever. That's kind of it, what I have in here for right now. Sometimes I carry a water bottle, depending on where I'm going. You can fit a firearm in there if you want to as well. On the inside, it's got these sewn-in straps. You can clip things to and put things in, you know, whatever you want to do. It's there. Uh, I have a uh, pocket knife at the moment, kind of just clipped, clipped to it. Then there is the third pocket. This pocket opens up and, you know, this is kind of another larger pocket, but not super large. It's got the two inside pockets and a zipper pocket to keep things you want to not fall out. I keep my Gerber flick in there. You know, that's a cool tool to have. Love this thing. Badass. Um, I keep my AirPods. I keep my AirPods on the leash. This thing, now, this is my clip right here. But this, look how long that is. That's awesome. I mean, how many times have you had a bag that just, it's too short. So, like, what's the point? Like, I would like to be able to have my keys kind of pull them out, maybe unlock the door, whatever, with them staying on there. Or, you know, I keep my AirPods on here so I never lose them again. And I have the ability to pull them out farther, you know, so I'm comfortably doing things. I like that. This, this is a major plus. Something so stupid and simple is such a major plus. You can just throw it in there. I keep battery chargers, lighters in the zip pocket. You know, I keep a little bottle opener, another pocket knife. 
piece of paper with some numbers on it and a flashlight. Bam. This is a seven liter bag. So it's like that perfect medium size. It's not too small where you're not going to be able to fit a lot of stuff in, but it's not too big where you look like you're wearing a backpack. On the side, like I have an Insta360, it's what I'm filming on. I have this little clip guy, you know, that I can fold up, clip the things just in case I want to, I want to videotape something real quick. So I just like to fold it up and stick it on the compression strap right there. It just chills, just stays there. You know, on this side, I have a little, little key clip. This is the key utility KM00. This, I would tell you right now, is amazing. I love this thing. If I lost it, I'd be pissed and I'd have to buy another one. But anything you wear, sweatpants, shorts, anything that doesn't have belt loops, you put this on the side. It's like instant belt loop. You put it on the side. You can hang your keys from it. You know, when I'm at work, I have to go in and out of a lot of buildings. So I have keys. And uh, when I'm delivering things, I just pop them on, pop them off, pop them on, pop them off. It makes it so much easier than having them in your pocket or whatever. So I just leave that there. Of course, the chrome iconic buckle, the seat belt buckle. You know what's funny is they make a big deal about the seat belt. The seat belt is uh, it's cool. It's like a cool gimmick. I like it. It's cool. I mean, who doesn't love the sound of that? But I don't use it. They have this. This allows me to pull it super loose. So when I put it on, throw it over my shoulder, I give it a little tug to where I want it, and then I just strap it down. Now it's nice and tight. Now I'm moving around. It's nice and tight. You know, looks good. And then when I want to take it off, I just, there it is. Now it's loose, up and over. It's a great bag. It's PU coated, extremely weather resistant. It's got multiple internal storage pockets. It's got the five bar webbing on it. The bottom does not have compression straps. So you're not strapping anything to the bottom of this, sorry. It's got these sewn in bars, whatever you want to call them, that makes it secure. That's about you know, 10 by seven, 11 by seven. And that's a great size. They got this lightweight ripstop sailcloth that I feel like it's not going to rip. I feel like I'm not going to snag it. It's, it's like a canvas nylon feel to it. The belt, the strap itself is uh, real soft, real nice. Like I would definitely recommend chrome bags. I would definitely recommend getting you one of these. Maybe get to rock the seat belt. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like the seat belt, but you want a durable, amazing chrome bag, check out the Kovac review I did. That's an awesome one as well. It's also got on the flap of the strap is a little stretchy, stretchy guy right there. Yeah, so you can hang your carabiners from it, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Keys, probably keys. Probably where I put my keys if I was walking around. Chrome, tinsel, recycled material, saving the planet, awesome fling bag. Get you one.
Thanks, thanks, thanks.